Hey folks, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today the high resolution version of Reason has officially been released to users of Reason Plus. If you are a subscriber of Reason Plus, you will have access now to HD Reason. I want to show you a little bit about what HD Reason looks like. I also want to show you this view uh, zoom function that's also been added, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, so this is also going to be added with Reason 12. If you're on the regular version of Reason 11, you don't have access to this. If you've got Reason Plus, you do. And there is currently a promotion going on to get three months of Reason Plus for just $3 per month, I believe. I'll put an affiliate link down to that below if you want to check this out. If not, no worries. Now, before we go farther, I do want to let you know I've got a Reason Cheat Sheet. It's a free tool to help you learn how to use all the devices in Reason. So now let's take a quick look at what Reason looks like in HD. Well, it looks really nice. Um, as you notice, all of these devices here are just so much crisper, so much more texture. Um, this Neptune is like I've never seen it before. And actually what I want to do is first show you the zoom function because I think that'll really let us see all of the fun details. So when you go down to options, you'll have the option to zoom. And you see right here, we're at the default 100%. We can go up to 240%. So let's do that. All right. That is perhaps a little big for any, for most of us. But what I will say is that I've heard from a lot of people that uh, are visually impaired and that they've long been asking for a zoom function. And I hope that this is a size that will allow anybody to use reason and enjoy it. I know that the previous size was much too small. Actually though, I mean, this Neptune looks amazing, even super zoomed in. So does the Kong look at the texture on that. Um, it's, it's really nice. Um, the Dr. Octorex, you can see all the little bits and pieces, the matrix of the display. Let's flip it over. You have the wiring bouncing around. Let's zoom out a little bit now and um, go to something that I think is probably, I would probably use it more at like 110 or even just 100. We're going to talk a little bit more about the zoom feature in a second, but I just want you to see, like, I mean, this is really clear. It's really nice. Let's now look at what the mixer looks like in HD. The mixer is almost too HD. If you ask me, it's like, wow, I've never seen anything quite this clear before. It's almost harsh on the eyes. Um, let's just attach everything. So you can see everything this way, that way, and the other way. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that the sequencer is still, I think, I mean, it's nice to be able to zoom into it, but, um, and I'm really zoomed into it right now. Like this is definitely a lot clearer. You can see things much better, but I still think there are certain lanes. Um, I mean, I still think the sequencer can use a lot of work, but like sometimes if you're over on this side of the sequencer, it still is really hard to see where, what notes you're dealing with. And on some of the color choices, it can be even more difficult. Like, um, I don't know. I think it's something like these, uh, maybe it's lemon. Yeah. With lemon, like you can't really see <laughs> enough contrast between uh, this note and the note below it or above it, especially when you're this far away. Um, it's nice to have this in clearer resolution, but there's some contrast or visual element going on that still doesn't make this as viewable as I would like. Still, this is definitely an improvement. The transport is nice and clear. Um, I'm running this on an iMac in I think 5k. So it's a lot of resolution going on right now. And while you may have seen performance be a little clunky, here, I think it's just because I've got the video capture on. Generally, it's been very nice. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about the zoom feature. Um, so as you saw, it is a global zoom, which I think is a little disappointing, to be honest. 
I would love it. And by global zoom, I mean, you've got these options for how much to zoom it, but that's going to apply to every instrument. It's going to apply to the mixer and to the sequencer. Like we'll go to 180. If we pull up the mixer, the mixer's real big. If we pull up the sequencer, it's really big too. And um, I mean, maybe that's helpful. Maybe it's not. Uh, but the main point is that you, and when we go to the rack, which like all of the instruments are going to be the same size. And that's not quite how I envisioned zoom being. It's nice to have zoom definitely. Um, but I would hope that in the future, you could at least have a per window zoom, right? Cause you can detach these windows. Um, for example, and have one zoom for the mixer, one zoom for the sequencer, one zoom for the rack, because you often don't need the same, uh, but it's a beautiful looking rack. Um, and then it would also be great if like you just hold like down, you know, option and like a magnifying glass would come up and the individual instruments would zoom up, the individual rack uh, extension parts would zoom in uh, as opposed to just having a global zoom. The other thing that would be really nice is if there were just hotkeys to zoom in and zoom out, uh, which are not available at the moment. So that kind of make, at least that I'm not aware of, um, like some of these things, you know, it's going to directly tell you what the hotkey is. But when you go to um, application zoom, there is no hotkey for it. And I think that would be really nice to have so that you can easily get back and forth. Uh, if you just need to do a little bit of fiddly work up close and then you want to jump out. Finally, um, one thing, one big plus I'll say is that um, I do appreciate that it's in the options menu, that it's like just one click away. At least it's not buried in the preferences menu, which is nice. Uh, but like I said, hot keys and maybe an on demand button would make it way more useful. Overall, though, I think HD has been done really well. Things that look good previously continue to look good. Um, some third party Rack extensions that have always been ugly are even uglier, even though they've been updated to um, HD. Like the Jackbox LLM is a great, great drum machine, but it looks like butt. And it still looks like butt, just sharper. Um, and I'll just give you another like example of a updated uh, rack extension. So like this fat compressor looks great. It looks beautiful um, by SoftTube. So they've done a great job of implementing things across the board, but um, you got to have Reason Plus, and there's a link to get it if you don't have it already and you want it, which you might not, um, or you got to wait till Reason 12. And I have some thoughts about that, but we'll save that for another video. Also, with this update for Reason, um, that's now available for Reason Plus users, they've also improved the browser. I'll cover that in a separate video uh, in a couple of days. But for the meantime, uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for all the latest news on Reason. And thank you so much.